Hi guys, let's study a checkmate pattern called the hooks mate today. Let me first show you the pattern and then we'll analyze it further. Here white is to move and to win. And there is a checkmate in two here for white. First we go rook a8 check. And now black can go to king g7 or king e7. But either way he gets mated. First you go king g7. Then rook g8 is a checkmate. And if black goes to king e7, then rook e8 is a checkmate. And this is the pattern that is called the hooks mate. It is called so because, well, it resembles a hook basically. The king is trapped in the mating net between the knight and the rook. And in terms of what is required for this pattern, we need a knight definitely that is protected by something. In this case, it's a pawn. And then usually there's opponent's pawn in front of that knight. And then most of the time, it's a two-step process. First, usually we use uh, the rook to check the opponent and get the king inside the hook. Now the king is already inside the hook. And what is left to do is to complete the hook. And we use the rook uh, to complete the hook. Also important for the opponent's king to not be able to go to this square. So the square that is um, diagonal and one, uh, one square removed from it. Here we control it with the pawn. And uh, if the king goes the other way, there's a rook there. So that's why we can go hooks mate on the other side as well, because the king cannot go to that side. Okay guys, now let's start practicing. Here's another position. Black is to move and to win via hooks mate. The white king is now in the corner. So it's theoretically easier to checkmate it versus the earlier position we see where it's in the middle of the board. Please feel free to pause the video if you would like to figure it out on your own first and then we'll solve it together. Okay, first we're gonna find the hook. Where's the hook? Well, the hook is knight g4, check. The king cannot go to the first rank because we have a rook on d1. So only legal move is uh, king h3. And now the king is inside the hook. All we need to do is to finish the hook with the rook. But unfortunately, this bishop stands in the middle of the way. So we gotta deflect it on some way, right? How do we do it? Well, we sacrifice our rook, the other one. Rook h1 check. Now, again, there's only one legal move, which is for this bishop to take the rook on h1. And now we complete the hook. Rook h2, checkmate. Okay guys, another position to practice. Here we have a very interesting position actually, slightly different than before, because the knight is in the corner and it's, uh, it's black to move and to win with hooks mate. Again, please feel free to pause the video if you like and try to solve it on your own first. And if you're having difficulty, remember how to complete this pattern. First, we try to find the hook. And then secondly, we complete the hook and checkmate the king with the rook. Okay, unlike in the previous position, here first we go check. The hook was not set. We go check first, and then again, the king only has one way because this uh, f2 is guarded by the knight. And now we um, find the hook. And here, interestingly, white actually has one extra tempo to prevent checkmate. But there's nothing white can do to really prevent checkmate. Of course, white can do like stupid things such as uh, rook c1, but we'll just take c1. And then uh, bishop e1, we just take e1. And yeah, white is totally powerless to stop what's coming next. And then uh, we complete the hook. We checkmate the white king. Okay, guys, another position to practice. Black to move and to win via hooks mate. As usual, feel free to pause the video if you like, and then we'll solve it together. Okay, in this position, black already has most ingredients for the hooks made. We have a knight that is protected by the rook, so the king cannot take it. And then the king is already inside the hook. However, the rook is not on the first rank. If the rook is on the first rank, then we can just complete the hook and checkmate the white kings right away but the rook is on the 8th rank. And here tempo is of the essence. 
if you go rook f1 for example thinking that next one is a checkmate then uh, well it is you that is getting checkmated right because white has uh, rook d8 check so every move here has to be a forcing move and the key here is to notice that if the king is not on h2 but if the king is on g1 then we have the usual hook mate pattern which is uh, first uh, check with the rook get the king inside the hook and then checkmate with the rook so how do we get the king to uh, g1 from h2 well we sacrifice our bishop right using it like a magnet so check now there's only one legal move for the king which is king g1 and now i'm sure you can see the rest rook f1 check king h2 the hook is set and then complete the hook rook h1 checkmate okay guys last chance to practice the hooks mate black to move and to win again please feel free to pause your video and then we'll solve it together okay here in the position it looks like the white king is already inside the hook but there is no way that we can get the, a rook to the last rank of, of white right there's a there's a rook there guarding that position and our rook is also not ready so instead can we perform the hook mate with another orientation for example this is also a hook and not just this and yes it looks like we can perform the hook mates with this orientation but then we need to bring the white king to the h file first and how do we do that well we sacrifice the queen of course queen h3 check now the king can go to h1 but then queen takes h2 is a checkmate so best defense here really is king takes h3 and now do you see the hook mate pattern we first go rook h5 check only one way to go for the king which is uh, king g2 because this square is uh, guarded by the other knight and now here the hook is already set right and all that remains for us to do is to complete the hook with the rook so rook takes h2 checkmate Okay guys, that's all for hooks mate. I hope you learned something new today. I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel and like the video if the content has been helpful to you. Also, please do check out my checkmate pattern playlist where I analyze other checkmate patterns in detail. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.